Okay, okay. Suppose all that ruckus in Celeste's shop is about. She it did. Unseemly to spectate. She did because she's did some hurt. That's cute. Okay. Today's trends are tomorrow's traps. The wealthy people out here don't have dogs. Hortense yells at me about vagrants one more time. I'm gonna stab you. Why do you think I've been avoiding these things? Cigarette lighter, it's not worth it. Who's just leaving stuff around like that? Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Sure, they look fancy, but inside, Why would this... marble and existential emptiness. How would they light up manhole covers? Where are the cars? Like, we have a street here, but there's no cars. Like, it's just nothing okay. here. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper lab. Hmm. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. That's not all I smell. Yeah, this is a little garish. Not gonna lie. I mean, oh, geez, the floors. Looking at things to compliment about here. The doors are nice. Yeah, I like the doors. A, a little bit of this stuff is all right, but I mean, you kind of got it like everywhere. And these light fixtures are nice. Yeah, this is just a bit much though. What's this? Thank you. Take your dad's cigarettes. Marilyn, is that you? Laws, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, she wants me to do that. I'll probably be taking a few things with me. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? This is like a... Like a Hey Arnold episode or something like that. Theft, vandalism, profanity. Yeah. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Oh, a pair. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. I mean, we had other business in Byzantium, so it's not like we went out of our way. Oh, that's right. But you can't that's just right. kick us out. Yeah. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, 
wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors? <laughs> Hold up. These floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. It's the floors. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. Don't sound so disappointed. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. Except here you are. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? Of course. And we shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Ah, yeah, that'd be embarrassing. Why did you do that? Because they're assholes. We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Yeah, just tell people you're dead. She's a professional miscreant. Someone could hear you. She does make money from we this. We concocted so, I mean, a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of twelve-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or <coughs> raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to uh, leave. I mean, Yuri did that. Quietly, if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, we're trying to avoid further embarrassment. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Yeah. Don't cause a scene. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Wow, yeah. I mean, I, I can kill them if you want. Let's talk outside. Hey. Oh, cool. Is there anything to rob here? And screw your parents. All the doors are locked. All right, what's the revenge plan, Ellie? Can we talk? Yeah, that's... Do you want to talk outside? Can you believe those two? No. We'd hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. They shouldn't have gotten so upset. You were making... I thought they'd be scandalized. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouthed. Shh, I'm getting to the good part. Oh, sorry. I'd have sorry. a great one liner in the tube. I was thinking either. The leather's fake, but the scars are real. Or, oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Oh, those, those are really good one-liners. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Yeah, yeah. Now, getting back That's to my story. One. That's comedy. Father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. I mean, you didn't Then do mother much. would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. All right, so what, what are we going to do? Work out your own time. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base, or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. But I want to talk about me now. All right, let's talk about you, Ellie. Holy shit. Ellie's got like some mama and daddy issues, and she's just like, I gotta be a tough girl all the time. Like, calm down. Um, Unless you mean the kind who look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. All right, something yeah. Something like... Yeah, yeah, wait yeah. Wait a second. What if I could get that money? What if you could get the life insurance on your parents? That's even better. Um... I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. For your own life insurance? Make money without doing a thing. How does that and make I'll sense? Get to cut them off. Why wouldn't you make me the beneficiary? Because that makes... I mean, I don't know the laws in Byzantium or whatever space laws there are here, but like... That makes no goddamn sense. You take a life insurance policy on yourself and then you just like... Because you're dead. Then you just take take the money from your life insurance policy and just, oh yeah, the payout goes to me. As long as I don't develop a taste for Wolgonzola and bad legal dramas, that's fine by me. My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Oh, excellent. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Yeah, we can hack it. Something on your mind? No, we're good. Alright, cool. Didn't I didn't realize I... you were an ex-con, Vicar. Technically, I was a priest, not a prisoner. So, Max, got any interesting prison stories? Do people really trade cigarettes like bits? Among other things. Got any recipes for bathtub hooch? I've always wanted to try the real stuff. We didn't have bathtubs. We made it in toilets. Ooh. Mm, quite the interesting taste. Why was he having toilet hooch when... You really didn't need to have toilet hooch because you're... You were staff. Like, who's leaving all this shit around here? And how do you get to this balcony? Is this balcony for show? What the heck? Just trash floating through the river here. Can I go through here? 
Don't mind me. This place makes no sense. Oh, we're back over here. Okay. Back to the address of the Great House and insurance group satellite office in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Oh. oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I gotta go here. The insurance office is in Fallbrook? Like, for. Like, huh? I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Like, I don't get it. Like, why would it be, like, we're on te The insurance company for what? Everywhere? This, this asteroid, this planet, this planet, the groundbreaker. Like, you're telling me it's here? Like, what? Why? Like, how, uh, huh? How many planets do you need? Or how many, like, I feel like you need more insurance companies than just the one. Like, what? Or locations, I should say, for, like, convenience. Like, it must be a shit show. That makes no sense. I like how this is still all just a mess in here. This dude's just laying here. Hey, you. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. I don't want any trouble out of you. Yeah, sorry. You seen Arthur today? Nah, this looks like the place. Hey, it's you. I see you're still on one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. Be smaller than a standard bit cartridge. Why? Um. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? How do you remember that? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Are you serious? Well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Oh, capriciousness. Hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhel can assign her beneficiaries. And she said, if we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Okay, but how oh, do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Yeah. That's for the best. What can I do for you? Where she lives. What are you talking about? There's no computer back here. It's upstairs. Oh. Yeah, this should be fine. 
Design these robots. Like, there's no way that this would walk right. Let's see. I'm gonna watch it walk. Yeah, there's no goddamn way. As soon as it lifted up its leg, it would just fall over. Did it? Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Being a surgeon out there isn't as great as it seems. At least half your day is paperwork and red tape. No amount of money is worth dealing with that. I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. <laughs> Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Maybe as line holders, or warm bodies? Line holders, warm bodies? Oh, sure. You've got to wait in line for just about anything in Byzantium. And not everyone has the time or inclination to do it themselves. As for warm bodies, some companies like to keep extra workers on site to look more productive. Oh no, there's lots of paper shuffling and pen clicking that goes on. The really good ones know how to leave sticky notes in just the right places. Oh. See, this is why I had to get out of Byzantium. Not sure what comes next for me though. I've never been much of a planner. Maybe you haven't noticed? But you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? Are you sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a She's point. too cool to maybe be Maybe it's mushy. good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Don't mention it. Really, this feels weird enough as it is. <laughs> Something on your mind? Well, well, aren't you the very... However, we... Please know... And also know... Yeah. Okay. Done with you. Got that quest done. Um... Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a movie star. Let's go. Man, it sucks that there's so many people looking around. Like, why? Why can't I just rob everything?
There we go. Let's go. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. We've had all of our stories wrapped up with these, except for... Oh, I guess Sam already had one. Sam sucks, man. He's boring. Maybe if I brought him along more, maybe I'd like him more. But so far, I, I brought him along like a few times, and he's just kind of been boring, man. Oops. Oh, now I move slow. Hold on, can I just... What is that, Q? Oh, it's Q. Okay, there we go. My dear fellow, you've no idea how our production has suffered. My hey. The loafers working on factory lines are practically oh, never mind. robbing us. I was about to say, we have the same outfit. We have the same vibes, though. Our workers, if one can call them that, keep losing. All right, let's go. All right. All right, we're gonna be a movie star. All right, this looks horrible as well. This is a nice counter, though. I'll say that the floors and the counter are nice. Doors, nice. This wallpaper nonsense. The ceiling's nice too. I, the walls just suck ass. They're gross. And this, like, what is that? It, aren't you? My cousin's in pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. Great! You made it! Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Wait, just shoot things? I can shoot things? Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. They... they are? What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Can I shoot someone? Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. Hey, I didn't write this, just go with it. I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five yeah, but those years suck. now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Those guns are bad. <laughs> is this what we're? Is this where we're dumping backstory? Because that should have come up earlier. Skewed wor wordless fury. That's what you think. You ran like a coward then. You run now if you know what's good for I, you. Oh, I just got chills. But still, you'll not stop me now. I have this whole port wired with sub-micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. And I spent three hours learning how to pronounce them. 
I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Aw, oh, man. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. God, God. That was fantastic. With actors like you, who needs writers? Let's take five. They like me. They really like me. Wow. Just free stuff. I'll take some free stuff. There's my stuff. Walk and talk with me. Eh, I'm busy. Just give me a minute. Yeah, like, oh, mag picks? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man! Any other goodies here? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to cheat me. You almost got me. That was brilliant stuff. Do you write your own material? You bet. Amazing. Just firm up that jawline, and you'll be a triple threat. I'm gonna have to fire the writing staff. What do those anemic fuckwits know about dialogue, anyway? Yeah. I'm thinking a whole new script. More pirates, bigger explosions. You flicking a stogie slim into a barrel of this gasoline. This guy's gonna get killed by the government that again. Kind of action sells or, tickets. not again. Here, this is for your work today. I'll be in touch once we get that script. But just like the other girl. Whoa! Leveling up. Leveling up is crazy in this game. <coughs> With Vicar, I'm at 100. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, see? Chimera. My suit. Give me 10 on this, 10 on this. This is sick. Can get hacked to a hundred. Do I need to get these higher? How is this not higher? Hmm. I didn't know she helped me lie. And he helps me intimidate. That's sick. Cashier, subgrade, non supervisory. Hmm, maybe I need to get that up more. Because I was... Hack, I'd like to get... Oh, it is at 100 with Bicker. So maybe I could just always keep Bicker with me for now. I need to get... What? Engineering up. Ellie is engineering? He signs. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I think I should get try to get engineering to... A hundred next, so I can upgrade things better. And after that, some, like, persuade, I think. Do I get perks? Oh, I do have perks. Yeah, let's do this. Wait. Bonus dialogue when you have no companions in your party. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of stinky. What is this? 25% walk speed. Base armor rating. To base armor rating. That's pretty good. That will be the next one. Okay, now what? Going downstairs? I just got up here. Where am I going? What's going on? Uh, option. I'll speak to the minister's guards. Provide some information regarding Clark's residence. Wait, oh, this is the main quest. Okay. Oh, we did that already? We're done? That's all he wanted? Oh. 
Okay. So what am I doing exactly here? This story, the evidence you found on Cascadia, or in Cascadia, and on HRS 1084 convinced Lilia of Spacer's Choice that Dr. Eva Chartan, Chartrand, Chartrand, is at the center of the alien invasion conspiracy. She wants uh, Chartrand killed for the good of humanity. Chartrand is a board-sponsored uh, chimerist? 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 A scientist who manipulates the nucleon of plants and creatures from Earth. Yeah, it is chi Chimerist then. Because she's manipulating plants and creatures from Earth to survive in colony worlds. Okay, yeah. Punch. You right. want punch? Dude, what the hell are you? Right so. You threw off the constraints of proper society and abandoned a life of luxury to live as an outlaw. Yeah, make fun of her, Vicar. You finally get me, Vicar. I not only get you, I applaud you. Oh. Not many would have had the courage to turn their back on luxury. Not to speak of the pressure you must have been under to fulfill the role you'd been assigned. Any regrets? Thoughts of not belonging, of not being where you're supposed to be? I'm always where I'm supposed to be, here and now. Bravo. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, I can just go in. That button is empty. This button is not. Do people care? I'll keep it down. <laughs> so why do I just bust in and that's it? Is that the only way? Just give me a key card. Is there another way in? Is there like a secret spy way in? He's gonna notice if I do that. The hey. Acropolis district is off limits. Oh. Move along. Yeah. I'll go over there later, I guess. Yeah, let's just go in this way. Screw it. We'll take the direct approach. So I'm supposed to kill her? Oh, she's downstairs. This reminds me of... Oh, never mind. See, this is decent. This is nice. This room sucks. This is nice. This feels more homey. Like, it's luxury, but like... Look, that's nice. Oh, they got some super white. Super white granite. Nice, nice. Good for them. Uh, I received a message that un an unauthorized user was looking through the files on my Cascadia terminal. Oh, that was me. Maybe a marauder with two firing brain cells. Maybe not. I hope whoever understands that the sacrifice made on Monarch and HRS 1084 will serve a higher purpose. One day, when we all, when all of us have attained a new state of being, humanity may forgive my sins. So she's like just trying to transform people, I guess. My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks? My team. As usual, the handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results they can replicate, package, and disperse to the general population, they desire only silence and obedience slip from the likes of me. Uh. Circumstances are hardly optimal with the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from underneath, under me and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084 perhaps. My home in steadfast Byzantium will offer the retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the ones I, I so enjoyed. The ones I lost. 
The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we have imposed a superiority on the worlds we touch. Colonized colonialism worked for a time, but our oldest trick didn't work on in Halcyon. Did it? Now that we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves, we are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with, with vodka. Ah, yes. That's a good idea. Yeah, unseal this. Thank you. Excellent. It's unsealed. Where the frig is the door, though? Hello? Hello? That must be the door. Here, cosmic smoke. Eh. What the heck is this? Oh, it's... Okay. Wait. It's an anti. Here it is. After Cascadia in 1084, I was expecting this. Chartrand has a thing for sticking lab coats in tubes, doesn't she? Yes. Fine. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. You're in my house, and I'm not fucking around. Start talking. Um. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. Keep I always quiet. assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Small consolation. My team? The finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms that I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. Yeah. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. 
it's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I have already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. One of the two Earth Directorate assault cruisers, assigned to patrol the Halcyon system. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Oh, I can shit. certainly understand why. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. That's not going to solve the colony starvation. That's the boards just being cheap motherfuckers. They need to pay more, make more crops, make more food. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Oh. Doctor. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? What kind of scientist would I be if I held to a promise like that? I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. I don't have this. Wrong answer. Oh, well, you're dead. Sorry. Time to rob everything. Phineas gets a new assistant. I wonder if Phineas is gonna betray us. I that's a very big possibility for the narrative. And a welcome one, to be honest. That would be kind of neat. Cause they're, they're doing a pretty decent job of being like, yeah, he, he, yeah he's, he's okay. So what do I do now? Just keep robbing things? Hey. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh, um... Ah, sorry for the misunderstanding. Why would you care? Alright, grab from that bin. 
weird that she cares. So, on. I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this problem. Okay. Yeah, if she works with Dr. Wells, I feel better about it. doesn't get their hands on it on that kind of technology and stuff like that yeah that's good couldn't help but notice the medical journals in your room do you still study medicine nah i just use them to hold heavy things in place most wise i was considering throwing away all my old texts but i like your idea better i tell you what hey, what am i doing why am i running why are you running All right, now we can go wrap this mission up with what's your face? A reminder to all crew members. There's only one blah 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 on the ship. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. Oh wow. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate... I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Fortunately for you, I am similarly programmed to protect the ship's captain and crew. Fantastic. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Take someone to watch. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Let's go. I was thinking about bringing Sam, but Sam's just sucked every single time. You can't press, like, interact with things while you're running. Is this, this guy? Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Nice. Took some extra lead while I was on a job. Ellie here patching me up good. 
The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. Taken I told a him lot it was salvage. Damage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Okay. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? Why can I just lie? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. Okay. Whatever. I didn't want to really be with anybody anyways. That's fine with me. Alright, that's it, right? Now back to the main story. Yeah, it's just main story time. Sweet. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, I guess I shouldn't save an elevator. I don't know how that will turn out. Alright. Cool. We uh, betrayed Sublight and we uh, took her over to Phineas. And we'll see how things go from there. Awesome.